some of the change you're talking about, the the the, I guess the diminishment of the theater in the cultural landscape and so on. How much of that is this, the change in the culture and the change in technology, and how much of that is do you think just money? I mean, nobody can afford to go to the theater anymore. It's you know 150 dollars a ticket or something like that, and do you see that playing a bigger role in some of these well, other things? Well, can, can I say that, first of all, a great deal of the theater that we're talking about, you can afford to go to see. You're not going to pay $150 to see a Wally Shawn play or a Sarah Rule play. Uh, and the, the th I mean, I think that in, a, like, a, I live in London, so the National and uh, the Royal Court and the major producing institutions are offering discounted prices, but I agree with you that the prices, um, but generally speaking, the prices of those that you're talking about are the prices to musicals, which are, or generally speaking, not where you go to think. Uh, you, 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 go, you go to not think. And, and, and that is one of, you know, that is a, actually a very important aspect of American culture, uh, especially in a time of terror. Because we are terrorized, we can see the in most of this is a part. This is a hobby horse of mine. The, the the culture talks to itself as if we've defeated terrorism. Not at all. Terrorism works, and it's working here, and it works, and and you can see it working in this way. Um, we the general all the discussion is about terrorism killing people, but terrorism also wants to kill thought, and therefore. It, you can see people rushing to extreme positions. Let's build a wall. You know, let's send everybody out. Let, I mean, these are radically stupid ideas, but nonetheless, they, the, the extremity of them, the, the desire not to tolerate ambiguity and the uncomfort of it, uh, is a reflection of, of terror and also. The, 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 the idea behind it is to, for the society to implode from within. And you see, from where I sit in Europe, looking here, I see a lot more of that happening than, and I, th I, I, th I the making hasty judgments, wrong judgments, judgments to get this thing over with, whatever it is, whatever the problem is. I think that's all a manifestation, I, I think, of that. But, uh, that's a little off the point, but it is political, and one of the things that theater does do, at least good theater, is to help us think outside the box. And that activity of thinking out of the box is actually a form of anti-terrorism. It's a, f a form of, uh, the, by insisting on thought, by insisting on, compli uh, on complexity, by coming into community and not, as it were, polarizing away from, uh, you know, uh, polarizing away from others. I think all that's part of how you fight this fear. Anyway, you just, I'll leave it at that. Hi guys, thanks for watching this Politics and Prose Events Essential. We are a bookstore, so if you're interested in checking out the books featured in this video, click here to buy it from our website. If you want to watch more highlights from our other spectacular events, click here. To watch the full version of this author's talk, click here. Or to stay up to date on all of our events, follow our social media accounts by clicking these guys down here. And don't forget to check out our whole channel and subscribe to our other videos. Do that by clicking on the Politics and Prose logo up here in this corner. Right here. Click. Thank you. So nice. So nice. You guys are the greatest. So great.